What's up guys, this is Will from Going Awesome Places and I'm back for another video about Peak Design. This time all about mobile by Peak Design and more specifically the Slim Wallet. Now I know it's been a hot minute since mobile by Peak Design was launched and it probably has to do with the fact that well MagSafe was announced and they had to completely redesign every single product to supply chain issues, to fulfilling those Kickstarter orders. We're finally at a point now where you can purchase all these products online. And make sure you head down to the description below to grab links to all the products, and you might find some surprise coupons and discount codes in there. Okay, so for the past couple of months, I've been really testing the Slim Wallet. So this video, I'm just gonna break it down into two things. One, what I liked about it, and two, what I didn't like about it. So let's jump right in. So what did I like about the Slim Wallet? Well, there are many things. The Slim Wallet, I've just been really happy with because, well, it's slim, it's minimal. It's probably the smallest wallet that I've ever owned and I thought I already had a pretty small wallet with the Secred wallet over here. It's a wallet that's easy to use and well-designed, so everything that they've built has a purpose, right? There's a magnet that holds this top in place. You pull it out, cards appear, maybe some cash, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, I'm impressed that I've been able to put in way more cards and just items in there than I thought I could. I know the official specs say seven cards. I currently have eight cards in here plus cash. I'm pretty sure I could put two more cards, which I have, so 10 cards in total. That really hasn't been an issue. There's a lot of actual space in between here, some flex as well. Now with the magnet itself, I haven't really found any issues in terms of interfering with credit cards or even hotel cards. So that hasn't been an issue. I like that I can put cash in here and I even in most cases have a little slip of paper that's for my car insurance. So all those things can go inside. Now in terms of compatibility with other mobile by Peak Design products, the main use is to use it with the mobile case. Now, I have an iPhone 13 Pro case right here, and it works really well. Sticks right on. The strength of the magnet is way beyond any other MagSafe product, so in that way, mobile by Peak Design is just way better of a magnetic link. It's sturdy, and you can put it in your pocket. Don't have to worry about it coming off. It's got, you know, this card here, which indicates that this has a lifetime warranty. So that's something that I always appreciate with Peak Design products. They really stand by the quality. And finally, I'll say the fabrics and kind of the, the gluing, the cutting of the fabric. I haven't found any fraying at all. It's performed quite well throughout. I've been using it for months, as I mentioned. I haven't found any deterioration of the product, nothing has come off, the glue has stayed intact, and the fabric has been really top notch. I love that it perfectly matches all the other products in Mobile by Peak Design, um, looks great. And finally, I'll just say that if you're a minimalist, this is the wallet for you. It's, it's a really solid wallet. Now the Slim Wallet is by no means perfect, and so there are a lot of things that I want you guys to know about so you can make the proper decision about whether the wallet is for you. So first thing I'll mention is that this is a great minimal wallet, right? As a standalone product, I think it's great. And I did in some cases find that the feature of being able to put this onto my phone, whether it's a MagSafe phone or, or mobile by Peak Design, was a little bit extra for me. Now, I'm certainly not one of those people that love having my wallet built into my phone, so I'm not used to this. For me, I found that I'd much rather have this on one side of my, you know, one pocket and my phone on the other pocket. That just seemed to make more sense. Together, it was just a little bit bulky. And even in cases where like I had both of them out, I never really felt that I wanted to combine them together. It just didn't naturally make sense for me. So that's a feature that's really not for everyone. So you can decide whether uh, that's a add-on value at all, or you could totally go with a, some other minimalist wallet, right? The other thing that was quite annoying uh, was just how the cards are laid out here, right? I just did a poll right now and it didn't organize the cards in the way I wanted to at all. If you look at the marketing material, it always looks like a beautiful spread of cards, right? One, two, three layers. Um, maybe I need to pull this out a little bit slower. 
and you kind of see three layers, cash, a card here, a bunch below, and a card back there. What I'll say in playing with this is that basically there's no consistency here. Depends on the orientation of the cards, how many cards you have, whether you have cash here in the front, what the materials are, the friction that it creates, how fast you pull, all those things kind of determine how these layers of cards are displayed. Now that's why oftentimes I felt like I was yearning for the Secred wallet. And with this, it just works, right? You hit the tab here at the bottom, cards come out, can do five, one, two, three, four, five, you know exactly where your cards are. Versus here, you pull it out, I have no idea where any of my cards are. Kind of, I can maybe kind of see it, but after this, I, I need to dig through and find that card. A lot of times, if it doesn't even do a proper spread, I have to pull it out manually myself, find the card that I want, and then store it back in. It's an awkward operation. And a couple times I even had all these cards kind of spill out to the ground because it was just too much to handle. So it's not a great experience, um, and don't get tricked by the marketing because it doesn't do what the Secred wallet does really well. The next thing I'll mention is this top tab. So you notice that it just kind of dangles out there when you have the wallet open, but a lot of times you might forget to make sure it's out here. It kind of gets drawn in as you're closing the wallet. When that happens, you're kind of screwed because that tab is what you need to use to pull out all your cards. So then you're, you're trying to fish out the tab. Sometimes you can get to it, sometimes you can't. If you can't get to the tab at all, it's completely stuck inside, then you're screwed. The only way to get it out pull out all your cards, loosen it up, get the tab out. Okay, let's redo it. And then you put your cards back in and you close. So again, not a fun experience. Last thing I'll mention is around magnetized cards. So it doesn't affect credit cards. It doesn't affect hotel cards, but what it does affect are parking cards. Okay, at least in Toronto, we have a couple of styles of of tickets, but one of them is this paper card that has a magnet strip on the back. Didn't really think much of it, went out for dinner, put the card in the wallet, and came back, put the card back into the machine to pay, and it didn't register a thing. It was a complete blank card. Had to call customer support, they had to issue me a new card and whatnot. But that just reminded me that, oh wait a second, these magnets can affect those type of cards. So I reached out to Peak Design and it could confirm that, yeah, weekly magnetized cards may or may not be affected by the wallet. So they don't have, you know, access to all these type of cards. So I will tell you for sure to not put any thin pieces of paper that have magnet strips on it, uh, which is unfortunate because then you have to remember, okay, don't keep it anywhere near this wallet. Make sure it's in a different pocket, a different wallet. Uh, your backpack maybe, whatever it is, but just don't keep it close to this. So again, another part that was really frustrating for me. So that's a wrap. That's everything I know about the Slim Wallet. And hopefully this gives you all the information that you need to be able to make the right decision about whether this is the wallet for you. So again, the description has all the links to products for mobile by Peak Design. Sometimes I even throw in some discounts and coupon codes, so make sure you don't miss out. Again, my name is Will from Going Awesome Places. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.